Brian Sands here at NRA Headquarters with Shooting Sports USA. This video, we're going to focus on NRA Precision Pistol and proper grip. No magazine, no rounds, empty chamber, so we've got a clear gun. Grip for NRA Precision Pistol. One-handed grip. I mean, after all, it is a handgun, not a hands gun. Keep in mind, we already talked about trigger finger placement in one of the other videos. Your trigger finger placement is part of your grip. It's the most important part of your grip. Why? Because it's the only part of your finger or your grip that is actually moving, okay? So the rest of your grip, while stationary, it's got to be consistent and firm. What is a firm grip? How much pressure per square inch are you putting on it? I have no idea. It's got to be enough that you can manage recoil. If it's too much, it's going to shake. We've all experienced it. If you don't hold the gun tight enough, it's going to move in your hand. If you hold it too tight, it starts doing this. And good luck getting through a one day 2700 if you're holding the gun too tight. Your hand's going to be worn out. Okay? Some things that you need to keep in mind when establishing your grip. One is when we throw a punch, we don't punch this way. So why are we going to hold the gun so that the back of this wrist is bent? We throw a punch so that this part's nice and flat, so it's straight out. We want to accomplish that same thing with the gun in our hand. So depending on where we put the gun in our hand, if we have all this meat back here on the back strap of the gun, notice for me in order to align the gun to my eye, look at the back of my wrist. It's broken. It's creating a weak spot. So if I shoot that way, that gun's going to want to recoil in a funny manner. If I get all that meat off the back strap and I get everything over on the side of the gun, now when I bring the gun up, notice the back of my wrist. It's a lot more flat as if I'm throwing a punch. It's going to help manage recoil. It's also going to be more consistent in your grip. So many times I watch people shoot. It's what I do. I watch people shoot now. And, and I see this. I see the gun come up and then you see them doing this trying to find the dot or trying to find the front sight and center it in the rear sight. Your grip should be as such that once you establish your grip, as soon as that gun comes up to, up to my eye, those sights should be automatically aligned that fast. If not, you've got a grip issue. It's not a position issue. It boils down to your grip. The gun is not in your hand correctly. Okay? So we've got to figure out how to hold the gun so that every time the gun comes up, notice that quick front sight centered and the rear sight aligned to my eye. Now it may not be on your target. That we can move with our feet, as mentioned in the stance position video. We can move our feet a little bit, but as long as the gun comes up and it's aligned to the eye, we're good to go. So, placement of the gun in the hand to have the right grip, grip pressure consistent even pressure it's got to include all three fingers do not put pressure on the side these fingers you know they curl around they're touching the grip but they're not bearing down they're not putting pressure into the side of the grip because the grip tension that we want to use is front to back from the front strap to the mainspring housing we're pushing front to back not side to side front to back with our grip pressure if you grip only front to back, it's going to alleviate a lot of the issues you have with your thumb. If I, if I grip front to back, it's kind of hard to do anything stupid with our thumb. If we try to grip and go all the way around it like we're crushing a soda can or something, we might do something crazy with our thumb in the middle of a string. Okay? Be very aware of your grip pressure as your trigger finger is moving. When we start moving the trigger finger, sometimes we might start to experience this. If this starts moving, just as I, if I don't even have my finger on the trigger and I just tighten up my grip in the hand, it's going to cause the sights to become misaligned, left or right, up or down, depending on how you hold the gun. So your grip pressure, once you've got your good solid grip, so you bring it up and it's aligned to your eye, back of the wrist is nice and flat like you throw a punch, that grip tension's got to be the same all the way through your trigger squeeze, all the way through recoil management, recovery, and for follow-on shots and sustain fire. Do not allow the grip pressure to ever change during sustain fire. Slow fire, when you bring the gun down and you rest, 
If you want to relax your hand a little bit, you can. There's really no need to. You're not holding the gun that long and you shouldn't be gripping that tight. Okay? That's grip for NRA Precision Pistol. There's a lot more to it. Typically, this is about an hour long class just to talk about the fundamental of grip. All right? We'll see you in the next video.